Hey, welcome back. I'm Brett of the Wall Twins and flying solo again, and it's okay. We are getting the uh, the kitchen here at my house. It's coming together a little bit more and more day by day. So back, excited to be here on the Pit Boss Five Burner Ultimate Griddle. This thing is a tank. It's a beast, and we're really excited because today we're doing chicken chimichangas. And so uh, let's get right into the groceries. We're gonna jump right into this cook. So here we go. As you can see, we'll just name off some of the things here. Obviously, we're doing. Uh, chicken breast today. We're gonna get it nice and cooked and then shred it down. And then we're going to be seasoning them with, with this old El Paso taco seasoning. And then we're going to be uh, putting some of this Kraft cheese inside with the chicken. And that's it, chicken and cheese. We've got these flour tortillas that we're gonna be using. We are going to be topping them with this Mexican melty cheese, turning it into a queso with by adding a little bit of milk, these refried beans on the side, as well as Mexican rice. Now, we've already got the queso and the the refried beans heating up on the griddle, actually on the side that's not hot because this thing screams even on low. So we don't want those to burn, but we wanna make sure that they're nice and hot by the time we use them. So here we go, I'm gonna to get to the cook. All right, now one thing I'm gonna do is lay down just a little bit of oil because uh, even though this is a non-stick surface, we still wanna lay a little bit of oil down to get the chicken cooking. So I'm gonna just put it right here, get the chicken down. All right, so here's the chicken. Get that down and get that kind of spread out a bit. Now this is chicken breast, doesn't come with a lot of flavor. So now I'm gonna throw down a little bit of salt and pepper, not a whole bunch, as if I were just cooking the chicken by itself, but just a little to get it a little bit of flavor. Because remember, the top of seasoning itself also has salt and pepper in it as well, I think. This is a constant cook. That's one thing that we really like about griddle cooking is it is an active cook. So the whole time with this, once we get the chicken done, just about done, we're gonna get all the taco seasoning and get that up. This is gonna be a very quick from here. Then we're gonna get ready to do the chimichangas. Now, if you're wondering what's the difference between a chimichanga and a burrito, uh, chimichanga is simply a deep fried burrito, but today we're doing a griddle fried burrito. So hence the chimichanga. It's almost just about done, so I'm gonna start kind of chopping away at this to get this chicken cut down so it's pretty much like it's shredded. Okay, now I'm gonna add the taco seasoning. Now I didn't quite use the whole pouch. This is just over a pound of chicken. And because I'm not adding water to this, normally with the instructions on this taco seasoning is just like any other taco seasoning pouch that you get, water is a part of the ingredients that you wanna add. But there is still some juices here left from the chicken itself. So it will take in and it will all bind together and just make for an amazing taste. This is why I like using the original taco seasoning for the chicken tacos, not necessarily the chicken tacos. It, uh, chicken tacos almost makes kind of like a, like a slurry or a gravy. So it kind of has like a, a thicker sauce. And I really do like it. I do like it, nothing against it. I have just come to find that I really like this. And I came across it by accident. I was making chicken tacos one night for my daughters. I accidentally grabbed the OG sauce or the seasoning, we just went with it. We all fell in love, we're like from now on, we are not going to do it any other way. So that is the reasoning for that. So this chicken is all ready. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over here to the cool side. There's, I have these, both of these burners off over here. One thing I love about this ultimate griddle is it, that it, the five burner is it has, well, five burners. So you have a lot of surface and a lot of burner options. So can uh, leave these ones off and just this will act now as a warming station. And actually, I have to call an audible because I want to clean where I cook the chicken. And so to do so, I'm going to be running water on it. And so I'm gonna get the chicken out of the way. Love it. Okay, so now we are going to get ready to 
roll these chimichangas and get them into the griddle fry. So to do so, we are going to change angles for a minute. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to move the queso and the beans over here, a little closer to the heat, and I'm gonna finish All right, now I've got the meat pulled. We're gonna move over to the building table. We're gonna build these really quick and then get them back on here for the griddle fry. So what I'm gonna do here is lay these down, get the spoon ready, and I'm going to just put it right here in the middle. I wanna shout out to Simply Mama Cooks. Uh, I watched how she built her chimichangas, and she was actually one that told me about the difference between a burrito and a chimichanga is that chimichangas are deep fried burritos. So I'm gonna do this. Take a little bit of the Mexican-ish cheese for tacos, add a little bit more of the chicken on top, and then we're going to fold in on the side, okay? And then we're gonna come over, we're gonna tuck and pull, and then we're going to finish it, leaving it tight like that, leaving it very little room for oil to get in there. So I'm gonna set this off to the side and build one more. So here we go. Chick on, chick on, cheese on, cheese on, chick on, chick on. Fold on, and tuck that in, fold them over, pull it back in and finish the roll. And just like that, we've got two chimichangas ready to go. I'm gonna put a lot of oil down. So the oil is running. Uh, one thing that I do like about this unit is that it actually does have screws on the back side, which I could have raised this back side up to make that settle a little bit. It doesn't look like it's running off too fast or too far, so therefore we've got a nice little bit. I first and lay it with that side down so that it can seal. You can hear that sizzling going on. And the same side, same thing with this one. There we go. Just gonna let them sit in the oil and cook. And after about a minute or so, I'm gonna check the underside. Once they start to brown, we know that's when they're good and we're gonna flip them. Okay, I think this one's already browning. It is, so I'm gonna let it sit a little more. And then this one is also, see it's getting that golden brown. That is good. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil for the fry effect. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do is I believe I have enough room on the spatula to get them both on, more oil, and get them on that side. Then once the side is done, I'm gonna take the tongs and kind of hold them on each side while they all continue to fry. And again, I'm gonna get more oil in here for the fry effect. Now that I know that I'm getting the goods there, here's what I'm gonna try. I'm going to try to see if I can stand these guys up kind of side by side. And yeah, there we go. It's kind of opening up a little bit, not too worried about that. I can put it back on that side if need be. Get some oil back here to get the fry going. Now we're gonna do the same. Ooh, this one back one actually didn't get much on it. Obviously, probably because it's in the back. So, I'm gonna do this for a minute here and then I'll swap them. Ooh, this one's standing, good. Let me see if I can get that one, this one to do that too. Yes! All it is just a little griddle fry. Cooking out on a Saturday night. Saturday night. Oops. Ooh, that's actually getting good color there. Okay, so this one is just about done. Uh, I'm not even really gonna try the, the tips. So there we go. 
All right, now one thing to keep in mind, uh, we were going to do one of those thin pans, uh, you know, that you can put, that people use it like Thanksgiving for dishes that you can throw away. We're gonna think about using that, filling it with oil and actually doing a deep fry. But then uh, Sherry and I were talking and she said, why don't you just do a griddle fry? And I was like, yeah, let's show what this bad boy can do. So that's why we decided to do a griddle fry with this one instead of the deep fry. So another thing we decided last second to do is we're gonna do a little bit of a fried avocado. Is that what we wanna call it? Sure. Sure, that's what we're gonna call it. So we're gonna basically just split this open, put them face down, and then, well, obviously take the pit out. And then I made some really good uh, seasoning using the usual suspects, and then a Valentina seasoning, which is literally salt, chili, and lime juice. So we're gonna try that. So yeah, just gonna do this real quick. And as always, I do a pretty crooked avocado. How do you do with your avocado cuts? Comment below. So there we go. From pulling that out, I'm gonna toss it in the garbage can right here off to the side. Another thing I love. So here we go. I've got this just the one on low and literally gonna put it down for maybe 10, 15 seconds. So here we go. As you can see, quite the difference in sizes with my cut. I'm usually not that far off, but either way. That one's fine. It tastes the same. This one's yours. Dang it, I always say that, Sherry. Uh, let's take a look. Getting a little bit of browning, that's what we want. Let's say another maybe 30 seconds. What do you think, Sherry? At least. At least. Okay, another minute. All right, now this is, obviously you can't see it, just has our saying of griddle on. But again, this is the usual suspects, which we will have the recipe of how we make that below. And then a little bit of the seasoning, which we'll also have that as well, which is literally on the ingredients. It says chili powder, salt, and lime juice. And it's really, really good. Now we did add a little bit of oil because Sherry did remind me that we wanted to call this fried avocado. So, well, there's the oil. That's what we're doing there. All right, here we go. It's looking nice and cooked. So now I'm gonna take my seasoning. Well, there it is, and I gotta tell you, this smells so amazing, which we'll get to that in just a minute. Chimichanga's Griddle Fried on the Pit Boss 5 Burner Ultimate Griddle. This thing is gonna be amazing. I already know that. So here we go. As we say, it can look amazing. I would say it looks amazing. Sherry? Definitely. Looks amazing, and uh, we also say it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah. <laughs> you got it. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all up for naught. Cheers, I'll eat to that, Adam. Sherry, my brother. Mm. Come on. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. This is so good. This is, might be the best chimichanga, and I get chimichangas all the time. It is so good, the way that chicken is seasoned. There is some melty cheese in there. Next time, I'm gonna put more cheese in there for more meltiness. This Mexican melty cheesy right here on the beans, let's give those a taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. So much yes all over this. All right, one thing I'm really interested is to try this griddle fried avocado. What we do is we have some of this um, creamy jalapeno ranch and then the seasoning that I made with the usual suspects, the, the seasoning that had the chili powder, salt, and lime. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sherry, I'm sorry you're on the other side of the camera. 
<laughs> can't wait for you to try this. So I'm gonna hurry up and wrap it up so Sherry, you can enjoy yours so we can dig in and enjoy this together. So thank you so much for stopping by to watch this. And by the way, have you given this a, a thumbs up yet? That's one way in which you can support the channel. Another way you can is through our merchandise store. Merchandise is through Digital Promotions who work side by side with Crossroads Missions, who does amazing service work. And in fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins website goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and all that they do. So we appreciate that. And we also have a Patreon. Shout out to our Griddle Entourage. We thank you guys so much for supporting us that way. And if you'd like to find out more information about our Patreon, that information is down below as well. So we're getting ready to wrap this up and head out so we can finish eating this. Aside from coming to make this amazing, another banger on the Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. Why are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no matter what. With that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on!